well. Samantha Christopheretti, uh, along with uh, Anton Shkoplerov, uh, off doing their own um, uh, activities aboard the station. And among those, obviously, is uh, their normal hygiene. Um, she uh, uh, periodically uh, washes her hair. This is a this is a different approach to that that you uh, have to deal with in the microgravity environment of space, uh, rather than in a shower uh, here on Earth. She is, uh, uh, represents the European Space Agency uh, aboard the International Space Station, and this is her first uh, long-duration mission, her first flight uh, at all. She is the 216th individual to uh, live aboard the International Space Station since its um, uh, inception with a first crew uh, back in um, 2000. Crew members are typically budgeted uh, uh, time just as you would uh, here on the ground when you wake up in the morning um, with a number of uh, uh, personal hygiene items. They eat breakfast, they'll brush their teeth. Uh, and uh, in the case of uh, Christopher Reddy, uh, washes her hair. Um, so the crew members uh, typically have about an hour to an hour and a half after wake up to uh, basically get ready to go to work, just as you would here on the ground. The only difference is their work environment is also their living environment, so they can just uh, float from their personal uh, crew compartments um, off to uh, one of the various laboratories on board the station to support all of the daily scientific investigations that they uh, uh, perform. Uh, one of the early tasks after the crew uh, um, completes its uh, uh, morning activities is to gather together uh, and meet with uh, all of the flight control teams uh, around the world via a long-distance teleconference.